all right hey guys welcome to today's video this is a video for people who can either do platinum office to get a lot of platinum or can directly buy platinum or um, get them through other various methods like opening platinum eggs in the Easter event <coughs> anyway so let's carry on with the video in this video I'm just gonna be telling you guys about the best way to spend your platinum and how to get a lot of gold do keep in mind if you're watching this months months away from this it might be a bit different in the future so just um, keep a lookout for that in which case um, make a comment below and I'll try to reply back and make an updated video or update any of the information in this video okay so obviously you can uh, buy platinum this is the best option 89 you get a serious amount of platinum from getting the highest one so pretty yeah, worth it i have bought platinum a few times in the past what i did normally is i would open the uh, open crates like this which contains um this uh, special item these items are like worth um, 30 million and plus this item um they range from 30 to almost 100 million so if you do get lucky that is one thing you can do but if you don't get lucky then you can obviously lose all of the platinum and still not get any but there are obviously more stable way to um get platinum of course and that is uh, buying and selling um alexa kits do keep in mind some of these items so this means you can't stash it and this means you can't sell it so if there's crossed out you can't do that but normally this sign means you can sell it this means you can um, stash it if we look if we look something like this ones you will be able to see that you get it contains 10 tradable 25 luck lexicons so you can trade um, these items in so just read the description um, that is one way to get gold obviously not the most efficient way back a long time ago you could um, go into forgotten ruins uh, premium entry and get ruins and sell them for a lot unfortunately that doesn't work anymore either now there is of course elite awakening gems this is the most popular way to make gold it gives you a tradable kit with 10 awakening elixir kits as you can see it's 50 million up oh, sorry 50 platinum if we go here 10 awaken and search for the cheapest one um they so this uh, says 600k but it's not um accurate just so you know normally they're about three to four hundred k and even if it um it is um 500k which is like uh really rare um it, it's it's usually not this expensive but if you go here um that means pretty much one platinum is worth somewhere between 8 to 10k if we bring out the calculator and do a little bit of maths right here so if we assume the average price of 450 divided by it cost 50 uh, platinum to buy you get a uh, 9k platinum sometimes the pri uh, price of that goes down to 300k which is the average par price for the awakening kids um, there's also angs you can sell them um, this one but it's not very profitable so i wouldn't recommend that but what i really recommend is buying either this hot bar they're a bit hard to sell but um it costs 30k and they sell for a lot but the number one item i'd recommend everyone buying and selling is the one crafting slot inventory these things sell for a ridiculous amount of gold so this one it cost one crafting slot kit that's 20 um, that's 30 platinum and if you go here um i have like 15 of them and i'm gonna craft this as well so people who craft a lot of jewels someone like me 
Um, this I obviously I buy a lot of them, but I don't have any platinum, so I can't buy this myself. But I would wanna buy it from somewhere like uh, the auction. If we go here and type slot, um, as you can see, they go like over three hundred, um, three hundred um k. So this is like the hot bar is like three hundred k at the moment, but uh, the Crafting as like uh, 380. If we do do some um, quick maths, 380k divided by uh, 30, and you see you pretty much get almost 13k per platinum, which is like 5k more, and that's really significant. So I, I don't like this, um, they sometimes can take a little bit of time to sell but uh, normally they um, sell relatively quick and they're uh, pretty um, good for crafting um, awakening. Obviously don't, uh, d like when you know this, don't, don't everyone do it, like do it at different times otherwise if everyone is selling it then the price goes down a lot really quickly so the reason it's so expensive is because not many people are doing it and as a merchant in arcane legend i it's my it's like i take an interest on items like this and keep a lookout for what's selling fast um what's selling slow and what is rare that people are buying and you use this to make a lot of gold and that's how i really made a lot of gold in my lifetime as well so uh, stuff like this is what you should um, keep your look out for and you can use uh, stuff like this to make a lot of gold another item is cryostar elix which you can sell for a lot as well like 100k for only eight platinum the, but obviously if everyone does it then price goes down you can buy it here as well so stuff like this um, is to keep in keep in mind and when you um, do this, you will um, tend to make a lot of gold. Yeah, this is the item. You can buy and sell this as well, and you make a lot of gold. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you benefit some. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.